Well, hi, beekeepers. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little tool pouch that I just recently received that uh, it's been modified and it works, seems to be suited for use by beekeepers more than anything. It's made of a nice heavy leather. As you see here, the belt loop. Uh, this is about an inch and a, maybe not quite an inch and a half width belt, but as you see, it'll hold some, uh, just about any width belt you want. And it has four pouches where you can put things. Well, here, here, three, and four. And um, very well made, very heavy duty. And uh, the specific thing that really I liked about this was this magnet here, which is screwed onto the pouch. This is the modification. And now I'm going to show you just how handy this is. And um, so let me put some of my more common tools that I use when I'm working out in the apiary uh, in here. And it keeps them right at hand so you don't uh, leave them behind or misplace them, which is... I'm sure most of you at one time or another have done that, especially your hive tool. So let me put some tools in here and show you what I'm going to be using it for. Okay, so I've got some of my more common tools in here uh, in this little pouch. Uh, on this side I have a just a like a little marks a lot marking pin if you need to write notes on a beehive or something or mark something. Over here I have a queen marking pin. Yeah, I know red is last year's color, but I haven't gotten around to getting a green one yet for 2019. Uh, back here I have a pair, short pair of scissors. Uh, scissors come in handy for all sorts of things. Uh, these are small enough and sharp enough that uh, you can clip your queen's wings if, if you're inclined to do so. Over here I have a little queen uh, cage or a little roller cage for the queen. That's always handy to have if you need to catch the queen for something. And back here we have the more traditional style hive tool. And uh, it slips right in here. It doesn't fall out. Now I normally use the J tool, the J hook hive tool more than anything else. And it clips right onto this magnet here. And it's pretty strong. This magnet is not going to fall off. Or, excuse me, the hive tool. The hive tool will not fall out of here um, as you're working around. And, and it keeps your hive tool right handy. So I'm going to put this on and kind of show you uh, the thing. Oh, and by the way, if you don't use scissors that much, you can um, stick your bee brush in here. So it's close at hand, too. Uh, some people probably use a bee brush more often than a, a uh, little pair of scissors. But anyway, I'm going to put this on and uh, kind of demonstrate it for you. All right, so I wanted to show you this uh, little tool belt here. And I've just got some of the tools, again, like I pointed out, that I normally use. And uh, um, But the one thing that I really like about this, how many times have you gone out to work your bees in your apiary, you set your hive tool down someplace or it fell down, maybe you just stuck it in your pocket or uh, whatever, and as you're walking back to your vehicle or whatever, it dropped out and you didn't notice it and you go back and you can't find it or you don't remember where you left it. Or you move down to the next hive, you can't find, well oh gosh, I gotta go back and get my hive tool. With this belt, Everything, the, the most common tools that you need, and of course you can modify whatever tools you want to use in here, as long as they'll fit in this belt. But I really like the hive tool. That's next to the smoker. That's probably the, one of the most important tools that beekeepers use. But your your hive tool is right here. It's held in place very securely with a magnet. So when you need your hive tool, pop comes right off. When you're done, it goes right back on the belt and it's held very, very securely. It's not going to come off, as you see here. It just doesn't come loose. But 
just a little outward motion, it'll come off the magnet. And it you just got to get used to using it. And you know, when you're done, putting it back here on the on the belt, which is right on your side here, very handy. All your tools, your main tools are here. You need a bee brush. Okay, there it is. It's right there. Yeah, you need a second hive tool. It's right there too. So, um, I really like it, especially the hive tool. Um, again, that's probably the most common tool that a beekeeper uses. So your hive tool is right here. Comes off very easily, but yet it is held in place securely. As long as you can get in the habit of putting it back there when you're done using it as you're working your, your hives, um, it's right there right ready to grab it and as long as you put it here on this magnet you're not going to leave it three or four hives down the row or whatever so that's uh, this little beekeeping uh, tool belt and pouch uh, I think it's gonna uh, it's very sturdily made and I think it's gonna last a long time so I'm looking forward to using it okay so that's my review of this uh, little beekeeping belt uh, and I want to thank uh, Kevin at uh, Bear Creek Apiaries for making the, a few of these and uh, uh, I purchased one from him and uh, I really like it and I'm looking forward to using this so uh, again thanks Kevin appreciate it and if you're interested I'm going to put a link down below where you can go to his uh, website and look at the video that he made showing this belt off or this pouch tool belt tool pouch off first so uh, anyway thanks for watching and happy beekeeping <laughs>